put it back on and then say hey we're done just put your chain back uh, because this isn't a video on how to put your wheel back on but I will kind of demonstrate it sort of kind of um, okay so you're gonna put your brake thing back on your brake bracket it has to go on it has to go over the the caliper okay make sure the caliper and the pads are seated properly and then you gotta put the little cup back in the uh, you gotta put the uh, the spacer in the cup for the wheel, okay? And then you gotta you gotta put it through this uh, this little notch in the swing arm. You guys can't see it, but there's a notch there, okay? And make sure you got the spacer on both sides, okay? And then you gotta get your axle, okay? And just run it to the other side somehow. Push that up all the way. Okay. That's uh seventy-five percent there. <laughs> Put this adjuster nut back in, or adjuster block, and then the nut. Tighten the nut up a little bit. Just a little. Okay. Move the wheel up all the way against the block. The, the adjuster nut, I mean, adjuster bolt. Okay, so now it's kind of where it needs to be. And then torque that at 42 foot pounds, okay? And then you're done. Uh, and then you, um, if you still had your chain, you would put your chain on. Um, I, I'm gonna put the chain back on because I think I'm gonna go dirt biking again. So, <laughs> all right, here's what we have. Okay, his wing is gonna put his chain back because he forgot that he's that he took too long doing this, so he's not gonna go drag racing this week. <laughs> I'm gonna put my chain on, and then we're gonna tighten the wheel, and then we'll be done. And I can actually ride my bike. I'm going to go ahead and put my chain back. Remember, you didn't have to take your chain off, but it kind of makes it easier. You know? Okay. I've kind of made it up. My chain is a little bit loose. It's a little too loose, but uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to go put our master link back on. I don't remember which way it went. I should probably mark the master link too. <laughs> okay, master link is on. Now we're going to put our, our end plate on. I think it goes this way because I see the little clip marks on it. Yeah. Okay. It's going to go like so. You're gonna put your your uh, clip back in. That like that. Where's my pliers? Okay. And you're gonna use your master link pliers if you have some. I'm gonna use master link pliers and then install the clip link. Boom. Okay. And then uh, pretty much done. All we have to do is torque this. I could tighten the chain up a little bit, but I'd rather not. It should have a decent amount of play, okay? Okay, so, uh, okay. 40, 42 foot-pounds is what it should be torqued at. Okay. Alright, I'm going to set my torque wrench to 42 foot-pounds. That's what the torque is for the rear wheel. I made it to 30. Back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Not a good idea. <laughs> From here, it's good. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> Voila. Took me all day to do this. <laughs>
Okay, Hayes Mig here, and uh, so that was how to change your belt, uh, your primary drive belt, on your Sauron Light B. Uh, it's now, it's now midnight. Okay, I started this around before the sun came down, <laughs> so around like eight o'clock. So it took me four hours to do it. Um, but uh, I was kind of taking my time, so uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of taking my time. I, I was hoping to get it done in like an hour or two, you know. And I think it. I think that's a good time. Uh, that's how long it should take you to do it. It should take like an hour or two to do it. Um, but it took me four hours because I kind of was kind of doing it on and off, sort of kind of. Uh, my bat. My camera ran out of battery. There's a couple things that uh, kind of. It was difficult for me along the way. I you have to kind of learn some tricks. I had to learn how to tension the belt. I didn't know how to do that. Um, actually, I watched it. I watched the um, the Sauron video on how they did it. So that's I kind of had an idea how to do it, but not really. But but that tensioner is pretty it's pretty neat. Um, so basically, you just pry up on that thing, and and then there's a tooth that it's it keeps it stuck in one place. Okay. I'm not really sure how tight to make it, but you don't want it loose. Um, you, uh, I heard one eighth inch deflection. That's not a lot. <laughs> that's, that's not a lot of def deflection at all. But you, you can run it a little bit loose, but you don't want it super duper loose. So you should probably go in there and check it every once in a while to see how tight the belt is, because you really, you really can't see the belt at all once it's covered up. The only, the best place to view the belt is from from behind this cover and it's really not that hard to take out it's only two bolts so make sure you go in there and check and make sure you make there's no like foreign objects in there like rocks and stuff you don't want that kind of stuff to be in there so if you do your proper chain mate uh, proper belt maintenance you know you tighten it properly I don't think your you'll your belt will have a long life because it's a it's a really good belt I'm not gonna lie it's it's, it's just Hayes Mega just didn't didn't tighten the belt <laughs> when it when he had to you know um, so the my my motor bolts were kind of uh, hard to get out. They were kind of like stuck. So that was kind of one thing. Trying to find all the torques was di was difficult also, but uh, I found them all for you guys. So you guys should. Uh, I will uh, on the final video. I'll put all the torque for for the important bolts. Okay, like the axle, swing arm axle, the Sauron manual, the Sauron torque man. Uh, like thing the manual or, or, or the torque values it's in Chinglish so it's it's hard to understand like what what is what they call the swing arm a, a rear fork <laughs> a rear fork okay it's not a fork man it's a freaking swing arm <laughs> that's what we call it in America a, a swing arm not a fork so so like you have to kind of like decipher it uh, one way, and the way I, I figured it out is I measured the bolt, and then uh, I went to the list on the thing, and I and I kind of did a process of elimination. Like, okay, this is an M10 bolt, so look up the, all the M10 bolts, and then figure out which one sounds. Oh, that one sounds like the right one. So that's what I did. I will put all those torque values uh, on the description. It's very very important that you torque your bolts. Okay, um, if it's yeah, if it has something to do with the suspension and stuff, because some of them were like, oh, I, I didn't, I thought I torqued it as, I, I cranked it as hard as I could, you know, the motor ones, I cranked them as hard as I could, and then, and then I was like, whoa, whoa, it's still loose. So you need to torque your bolts, okay? Um, you never know, you don't know how tight they are unless you use a torque wrench, okay? Um, it could be too tight or too loose. If it's too tight, boom, you break a bolt. If it's too loose, it comes apart while you're riding and, you know, catastrophic failure and death may occur okay so 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 that's why it's very important that you torque your bolts um yeah so on a scale of one to one to ten how hard was that i'm gonna say seven that's a seven okay it's almost it's like it's like it is a timing belt you know you're replacing a timing belt in there you know it's like changing a timing belt in the car is not an easy job you know <laughs> but uh but yeah, it's not too difficult. I think the hardest part is getting this whole the jack shaft assembly to line up with the swing arm. There's just there's just so much stuff going on with the swing arm. You got the bolt, you buff the frame. There's some bearings in here too. Um, there's a spacer. There's a jack shaft, and then you got to get that through all of that. And then then there's another set on the other side that you got to get it through. So um, and. And he's 
think I had trouble getting it through there. And then I found out, oh yeah, the uh, the, the motor, is the, the, the belt is too tight. So I had to loosen the belt, okay? Um, when, it, when this bolt is up here in the slider, it's loose. When it's down here, it's tighter, okay? So you want it to be up here, um, yeah, so to make it looser. Because that's, that's always having a problem. I, was, I couldn't get it lined up because the belt was like too tight. It was set up too tight. So you need to loosen up the motor first. Um, by, you can do that by getting a pry bar. Pry bar. And then just putting it under your skid plate and, and torquing up on it. Hopefully you don't bend your skid plate. I, I don't know how, how durable, how, how the, the stock skid plate would fare against that. But the, the race spec Soran one, no, no problem. <laughs> Took it like a champ. Okay. And then, uh, oh, okay, the next problem, the next hard part was like trying to get this linkage to line, all, line back up again. Um, you had to actually push the shock back a little bit. You had to move it up and back a little bit. So to do that, you have to use a pry bar. So, so you definitely want to have like a crowbar or a pry bar set kind of like this. About maybe, You probably don't need one this big, but maybe like half this size would be fine. Or you can use a big screwdriver, okay? Big flathead screwdriver. Um, that's one. That's some stuff I had problems with. Um, and basically, I just had to like lever this in there and stick it up in there. So, so it's it's in the video. If you're you know, if you're having if you're getting stuck, watch my video again. <laughs> and then uh, and then yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then and then it was just putting the wheel and the chain back on. So uh, uh, I removed the chain because I thought I was going to put the Supermoto set up and go drag racing tomorrow, but uh, it took too long, so <laughs> I, I need to actually go and ride the bike to see if it r works properly, and I can't. it's kind of late right now, so I'm like, yeah, that's fine, I'm good, I'm tired. So I might just go dirt biking this week, so so I left the dirt set up back on. Okay, so so that's how uh, that's how to change your primary drive belt on a Soran Light B. This is a Soran Light B MX. I don't know if they changed it for the newer ones, but I think it should be pretty much the same. Um, make sure you don't lose any of the spacers and stuff. Um, yeah, and then uh, and then I highly, highly recommend you keep a spare belt around. So just in case this happens, you got one ready to go. Okay, so you're not like, hey, Zomega, waiting like two, three weeks, can't ride my bike because I don't have a belt. You know, you can't go, you can't go to an auto parts store and get that belt. And so that's another reason to have a spare belt around. So just in case you break a belt, and let's say Luna Cycle is out of belts, then then you're what? What are you gonna do now, right? <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go find the belt somewhere else. You know, maybe like Suran UK, but Suran UK is in the UK, and it takes longer. You gotta import the belt here. So, so yeah, this is this is a United Kingdom belt I have on my bike, by the way. Okay. So, uh, so yeah what I'm gonna say so those are some kind of like tips and tricks that Hayes Omega learned along the way uh, other than that it wasn't too hard um, and the the Soran instructions the Soran video was not bad it was it it made it look like it was a lot easier than it seemed though so and plus they were doing it on a brand new bike so so like yeah my bike is kind of old and dirty you know so so yeah you want and, and then uh, whenever you take like an axle out uh, like the swing arm axle or the uh, the linkage, put um, grease it up when you put it back in. So you're doing a little maintenance to your linkage while you're at it. So some at some point, or probably when I take these ones out, um, I'm gonna or I could just take it out whenever and then grease the bolts. You know, that's all you really need to do. Um, at least because I think it's just a bushing. There's this there's a there's like a sleeve, and then that's their bushing, right? And that's where the thing pivots on. So. I don't think there's an actual, I'm not sure if there's a bearing in there. I'm not 100% on it. Um, I didn't take the whole thing out, so. So, yeah. All right, so that's how it is. Um, 